to episode two of The Grumpy Logs. Couples at gigs. Ugh. Don't get me wrong, so I'm not against all couples at gigs. It's just the ones who insist on shoving their tongues down each other's throats in my general visual vicinity. I don't like it. The other day I put a status up on Facebook saying, couples at gigs, no. Get you and your PDAs out of my grill. I do not want to see you licking your boyfriend's ear. Thanks. One of my friends commented on that underneath saying, oh, bit of a sweeping statement. Surely all couples at gigs aren't bad. They're not all bad. It's not a sweeping statement. It is the ones who enjoy a little bit of tongue every now and then. Really does make me feel like vomiting everywhere. Soon enough your list of gig essentials is going to end up looking like this. Tickets. Money. A camera so you can spend more time taking pictures of the band rather than watching the actual band. And perhaps most importantly, a spiffingly good sick bucket. Hey! Yeah. Hello, bucket. Yeah, I have been sick in this quite a few times, as of my friends. And yes, they have all been alcohol-related instances. <laughs> so yeah, my friend and I went to go see Lower the Atlantis the other day, and there were couples everywhere. Like, we felt like we'd missed some sort of memo of the couple event at Lower the Atlantis. It was very... What? <laughs> and they were all enjoying a little bit of the, uh... Tonguey kiss going on. Yeah, they were loving that. Neither of us were. One of uh, my favourite couples, let's call them Fred and uh, Lily. <laughs> I like how they're both characters from Harry Potter. Was standing in front of us at this gig, and the guy, Fred, spent the whole time looking adoringly at his girlfriend Lily. Literally the whole gig. Oh, facing away from the stage and the band that he paid money to go see staring adoringly at his girlfriend. You can do that at home. You don't need to pay to go to a gig to do that. Now maybe it's because I'm bitter and twisted, but oh, come on, it's just so grossly soppy and lovey and uh, This is where this comes in handy. You also spend a lot of the time, again facing away from the stage, taking pictures of the two of them together, which I was kind of trying to dodge in the background because I didn't really want my grumpy little face in the background just like, Couples. Although in hindsight, maybe if I'd done that, it would have convinced them to not take any more photos. But it's too late for that now. <laughs> See, also at one point, and this was the uh, the final straw, as it were. This girl bent over, licked Fred on the ear, just sexually licking his ear. Ah, uh, no, nothing against you know whatever turns you on, whatever you like. But a gig in front of people, come on. It was at that point my friend and I decided we were going to move because these guys were just a little bit too cuddly for our liking. Unfortunately, they did then end up in front of us again anyway. I was just like, please, go away. I don't want you near me. <sighs> Couples. So what I'm trying to say is, when you're out and about and you're at a gig, there's nothing wrong with being a little bit coupley, you know, get that, a nice romantic song comes on, that's your song, have a little sing, a dance, and oh, isn't this nice for a couple, and uh, but please, 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 dispense with all the PDAs, is just gross. And as I was saying, it might be because I'm a bit bitter. It's coming up to three years that I've been single, not that I'm counting. So yeah, when you're next at a gig with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, no. If they mean to try and give you a big tongue sandwich, tell them it's not what you're in for. You're here to watch a band. Tell them that. That's what I want to see now. More couples not kissing each other in front of me. Good dance. I do feel like I should stress again that some couples at gigs are good. I have been to gigs with just couples and it's been great. So, you know, but then they weren't being, you know, tonguey. So that's nice. So Hannah, what are you holding there? I'm holding my receipt. Your receipt? My dissertation. Your dissertation? Ooh. Ten thousand words later. Oh my god. Does this mean you're no longer in university? It does, hopefully, unless I fail. <laughs> <laughs> Positive thoughts. That video clip you just saw was my friend Hannah um, handing in a dissertation. And she is now no longer a student, which is great. Because <clears throat> it means I've got someone else around the house who is doing jack shit and will entertain my whims and watch films with me. So woohoo! Yeah, it's very weird though that we're all coming to an end. My other friend Bridge is signing in her dissertation next week. And then 
talk to your students anymore. It's gonna be weird. But yeah, she looked happy, didn't she? Her smiley little face with her little dissertation receipt. She's enjoying life now. Yeah. As always, links to my Tumblr and music blog will be downstairs. Hannah actually pointed out to me last time I made a video that when I'm saying downstairs, it looks like I'm pointing to my vagina. I'd just like to say, I don't have web access in um, in my vagina. It's not it's not hooked up to any Wi-Fi. So if you are after my Tumblr and my blog or anything to do with the internet, you're not going to find it down there. So don't come knocking on my door and asking because I can't help you. Sorry. Okay, see you next week, guys. And in the meantime, don't forget to not kiss people at gigs. Uh, that was catchy as the FTBA, but we'll go with it. Bye. Victory Starbucks and uh, what is that? Oh yeah, that's cider at uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Only allowed in this station, Dana.